The governing New Patriotic Party has refuted claims of intolerance and vindictiveness towards the media in the country, reacting to Ghana's recent drop in the World Press Freedom Index from 30th last year to 60th. Communications Director of the NPP, Yabwabe Samoa, insisted the media is the freest ever in the Fourth Republic. The NPP would like to argue that its very foundation since the bond of 1844 has been the fight to assert national rights through free speech. We proudly draw inspiration and sustenance from the founding fathers who fought through speech all the way to the colonial master's privy council to preserve our lands, establish participation in governance, and fight for independence through constructive dialogue. We, the MPP, repeal the criminal libel law and rationalize the role of the NCA as a regulator par excellence. The real challenge now is balance. Recent reports, both internal and external, hyperbolically declaiming the supposed loss of media freedom in Ghana, are painting and playing up a picture of systematic harassment against free speech. But is it truly the case? And does mainstream media and civil society experience that in their daily lives and activities? Moreover, is free speech limitless? And can it be mischievously used as an instrument to foster instability? These are key questions, objective answers to which can dampen the scurrilous damage to a hard-earned political stability and potential growth in the name of regime change. The MPP believes Ghana media is the freest ever and that its contributions to media growth are unparalleled in the Fourth Republic. MPP decriminalized speech, supported infrastructure, and training of the International Press Center and support funds and improved spectrum allocation and regulatory oversight. Free speech will continue its healthy climb under successive MPP administrations.